If you're like me, you've probably got some outsheds around your property that don't have any access to power. And in these cases, a little solar system might be very handy. Whether it be to trickle charge your machinery and keep it ready for when you need it, or whether it be to put a bit of light on the subject so you don't trip over things that you'll put away later. Of course, in my situation, I've got the added problem of a fair bit of shading. So I need solar panels that are gonna operate at their peak in partial shade. And I think I might have the answer. Come and have a look. <laughs> and I think this might be the answer. It's the Renogy 200 watt Shadow Flux solar panel. It's not only lighter and smaller than other traditional 200 watt panels, it's also very strong and waterproof, which is good because it copped a hiding from the delivery guys. Let's take it out and have a look at its features. Renogy only use a small amount of packaging for this product. And I'm glad they did because it worked. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this panel when you take it out of its packaging is that it looks different to other photovoltaic cells on the market. And that's because it's using N-type cells which boast up to 25% efficiency at converting light to electricity. These are joined by 16 bus bars. Now this design and this construction means that up to 25% partial shading won't decrease the performance of this panel beyond a reasonable amount. In fact, when Renogy had these panels tested independently, they were still putting out 134 watts of power under 25% shading. Normal PERC panels give up and produce nothing at that rate of shading. So that's enough of the gas bagging. Let's go stick this on the roof and try it out under real world conditions. Okay, it's time to do what passes as science around this place. We've got a little bit of weak winter sun that's just popped its head through the clouds. So we've got to get going with this test while we've still got some light. We've got the solar panel set up at a slight angle on a couple of trestle tables. We've got it plugged in via a charging cable to a battery power station that's got quite conveniently a watts input display. So what we can do is we'll set this up and under winter sun conditions with it not quite angled correctly, we can get a baseline reading and then we can start to shade it and see how it copes with partial shading and take it to the point of failure. Okay, so with the panel set up the way it is, and I'm not going to move the panel during this test, we are pulling 99 watts of input into this battery that's got a 34% charge. Okay, so we're going to start out really, really simply. I'm going to put this post in the ground and it's going to throw shade right over the middle of the panels and we'll see what that does to them. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so there's the shadow from the post in the ground and we're still pulling 81 90 watts of power so we've lost eight or nine watts of power with the shadow from that post well that might not look like much but that's certainly enough to put a dent in the performance of a lot of panels so it's good it only lost about 10 percent let's go a little bit harder now let's put this t-cross right across the middle of the panels we'll see what that does to the performance so with the T-shadow in the way, I'll just wake this up again. Display shuts down on me. We're making 66, 65 watts of input power. Okay, it's time to get a little bit more serious. Let's block off a bit more sun with this bit of core flute. Now I reckon in total, we've got nearly a quarter of the panel shaded, but not covered. Let's go and see what happens. So there's the shading there, a little bit darker where the core flute is, a little bit lighter where the post is. And so far so good. So we're still pulling 60 watts of power. Our top performance with the panel completely uncovered in these conditions was 99. So we've lost about 30%. And we've got nearly a quarter of the panel shaded, but not covered. Okay, that's boring. And I don't like boring. Let's give it the hat test. Right in the middle. So with the hat covering the middle of the panel. Yep, 
we are still pulling 58 watts, 57, 58 watts of power. Shade that a little bit for you. There we go, that's a bit better. That's not bad, is it? Now we've got to kill this thing, okay? We've got to make it stop working. And I've only got a minute or two because the sun's going behind a cloud. You're not supposed to do this with solar panels. Let's hard cover it quarter and see what happens. Okay, so there is quarter of our panel covered completely. And hello, zero. Okay, so there you go. We shaded about quarter of its surface area and we lost 30 watts out of 99 of draw power. But you can't cover a solar panel with a piece of core flute and expect it to work. Isn't that amazing? I've proved something. Science. Solar panels need light. Installing these things on your roof is really easy too. All you need are the right brackets and you use the existing screws in your roofing iron to hold them in place. Just bear in mind, the brackets aren't easy to get in stores. You have to order them online. So when you're ordering your panel, get your bracketry as well. Saves a lot of mucking around. Ask me how I know. Done. Ugh. Now, I could go and get inverters and batteries and all of that sort of stuff, or I could use one of the power stations that I already own and just make sure it's well protected from the elements like the rain. So this is gonna be my go-to and it's got plenty of power outputs and plenty of storage capacity for that little panel to keep me going, even if I wanna do the odd tack weld in here. dum de dum de dum de dum Now, while I'm sure there's a lot of ways that you could improve on this install, I think it just goes to show that with modern technology, with power banks and all sorts of things like that, that a really good solar panel can actually upgrade your shed really easily. You can do it in an afternoon install and it's gonna change your life. Last but not least, they asked me to mention that the panels are fully waterproof. They've got an IP rating, you can look it up in the description. And they're hail proof. Well, I didn't have any hail. Seriously though, if you want to find out about these great solar panels, click the link in the description and you will be mightily impressed yourself. If you like this kind of video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Send this to someone who needs to spark up their life.